All right, Vincent, can you talk about your your preparation for the ultimate job interview, the Indy Combine this week? Oh man, this this has been a you know a grind from, from day one. You know, they uh, our trainers here, they, they know the expectations, they know you know what's what's needed, you know, to get you to where you need to be. And uh, from day one, that's 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 what's all, what it's all about. You know, we come out here, we work six days a week, uh, working combine specific drills, you know, weightlifting, speed training, we do all that stuff to you know make sure we're ready on every day. I'm looking to list of the things that they're gonna put you and all the other players through. The 40 yard dash, bench press, vertical jump, the broad jump, yeah. the three cone drill, the shuttle run. Which of those things is most challenging for you to go and prepare for? I say the uh, 40. The 40? Uh, it, everything has to be right on, on, that, uh, on that 40 yard dash. You know, you did flat that your start, you know, you're, you're after your 20 yard, your explosion, and all that. You, know, you have to be right if you want to, you know, run a, run a great time in that 40. So everything has to be, you know, fine and then tune you know, once you step on the field. So that's, that's the single most important thing then of all the, of all the drills that are going to put you through the combine. That's the biggest thing for you to go ahead and master, you think? Oh, yeah, pretty much for me, yeah, definitely. Because, you know, a lot, a lot of people, they, they want to know my 40 time. I don't have a recorded 40 time, so that's, that's definitely something that, you know, people are waiting for. What's your 40? Come on, what's your, what's your 40? Uh, you don't have, you really don't have one. I can't, can't let it out right now. I don't know. I got I to gotta wait to draft that. You know, hopefully I can, hopefully I can drop, drop it in low 4-4s, four 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 wherever. But, uh, you know, we'll wait and see what happens on combine day. Now, do you, have a, do you have a speed coach? Did you have one at San Diego State that helps you just with the speed element and one here at Velocity as well? Oh, yeah. Our, our strength and conditioning coach when we were at State, you know, they, they did a lot with, uh, with weightlifting and our, and our speed on the field. You know, we did a lot of drills, um, working off season, doing that type of thing. But uh, as we, as I came here, you know, it all, it all transitioned to, to speed. You know, they, they focus mainly on our bench press and uh, a couple core lifts, but um, we definitely take care of the speed factor. You know, we do a lot of drills uh, with agility explosions, uh, you off your 10 yard burst, and just make sure that your form is right so that you can run as fast as you can. Now, when I did my research for coming out to, to meet Vincent Brown, I'm reading about Vincent Brown's Senior Bowl and 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 and, and you, how you really opened some eyes. And some of the headlines were, "Wow, who who is this guy? Who is Vincent Brown?" I'm guessing a lot of people didn't have exposure to watching some of watching some of your games at San Diego State. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it, it was good for me. You know, I, I, I was happy to be you know, to be able to represent my, my school because you know, uh, a lot of people they, they didn't see us on TV a lot this year. You know, we, we didn't have that much coverage, but we were trying to open some eyes. You know, so just for me to be able to go out there and represent, you know, uh, it, it was good for us. You know, I, I, a lot of people they call you on the East Coast or something like that. They be like, yo, I want to see your game. When is your game? Yeah. But we don't have that, you know, that national coverage sometimes. But it was this is good for you know, just to get, get a little exposure that way. And speaking of which, at the Point Stadium Bowl, I think eight catches, 165 yards. You really open some eyes. Did you realize at that time that, you know what, maybe that was part of the audition process for, for scouts and teams seeing what you're capable of doing? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, we, we take that every game, every game like that. You know, we, we want to go out and win for, for our team, but, you know, uh, just, just to, for other people to be like, yeah, this is, a, oh yeah, he, he's done good. You know, this guy's pretty good. That's, that's something that we all, we all look forward to uh, every game. And how much are you paying attention to as far as, like, the Todd McShays, the Noel Kuypers, about, about what they're saying about you? Uh, you, you listen to it, you know, you, you got to take it with a grain of salt sometimes, you know, but it's, it's good to hear that stuff, but yeah. then you really, really don't know what's going on, but uh, I, I guess you just have to continue to work hard and uh, do your interview process and work as hard as you can for when you're ready to test out. All right, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you this. I'm, I'll, what do you think about this? This is some of what I read about you in yeah. the scouting reports, NFL Draft Scan or NFL.com. It'll say, you know, lacks imposing size, average speed, but knows how to separate, has great hands. Your greatest asset is your competitiveness. You play angrily, yeah. and you and you sacrifice your body to make great, great catches. You're a great run blocker. You play angrily, huh? What does yeah, that mean? It's, it's kind of like a chip on my shoulder type of thing, you know. Because uh, a lot of people they say, oh, you're you're a small receiver. You're you know you're not as big, you're not as fast, and they, they try you know bully you that type of way. You know, so you definitely gotta step out on the field and let them know, you know, I, I can play with you guys. I can run with the big schools. We can we can run with these people who say they're, they're, they're better than us. You know, so I guess that, that's where it comes from. So and how do you make up for that? How do you how do you make up for that? Part that that supposed deficiency as far as the the, the size. Uh, just going out and making good plays, you know, yeah. just playing the game, you know, doing doing my job, doing what I have to do, you know, to help my team win. You know, it's it's, it's a lot of fun when you're out there and they, they, they say it's like that. They say, oh, we're better than you. You're you're smaller, and then you go out and make a big play. So I guess that's that's how I counteract that. Now, are you ready for the the psych test, psychological test, the wonder lick? How are you preparing for that? Oh, uh, they we do a lot of drills. You know, I talk to my coaches. They'll they'll run me through a lot of questions, and we'll uh, we'll sit down and you know go over that type of thing. But I'm definitely ready for that now I'll, I'll definitely be prepared for all that stuff too. Now you are you ready for the, the entire interview process and all the all the goofy questions and the probing and the prying that these teams are gonna go ahead and do? Oh yeah. You know, you're, you're that's, ready, that's, huh? all, that's all part of it, you know, and you definitely gotta go in there and sit down, I'm sure they'll, they'll try to make it challenging, but that's that's part of this entire process. You have to make sure that you're ready, you know, with every everything they throw at you. So that, that's that's how it is. Now who are you looking to for advice during this time? Is it family members, former Aztecs, former teammates? 
Uh, Who do you go to at this point? Definitely my coaches and also uh, a lot of former Aztecs. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people that's been through the process from school, they'll, they'll give me a call and be like, sit down and be like, this is how it's going to be and uh, this, this is what to expect. You know, I just met with uh, Kevin O'Connell uh, not too long ago. He sat down with me and just, we just had a little, you know, talk about all that stuff and he's been through the process so I can, you know, understand, you know, some of the stuff he's talking about. And he's just like, this is what to expect. Don't, don't trip too much about it. You know, just, just go in and do what you have to do. And then that's, that's, how, that's how I look at it. Are you a little bit nervous or are you, you kind of, are you, you're in a good place? right now as you get ready? I feel like I'm in a good place. You know, we prepare, we prepare so hard, you know, every day. So it's it's not really a matter of being nervous. You just have to go out and make sure you go out and take care of your business and do your job. All right. Well, good luck to you, and uh, we'll all be watching. I'll, I'll see you in Indy Friday. Right, Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Lindsay. Come on, you got it, come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 